Hello guys, good evening. This is Life Issue and this is Blessing. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. Now, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please, please, please help us to hit the red button so that you can get our video once we upload it. We have a YouTube channel, we have an Instagram channel, we have a Facebook channel, we are all over and we have a news website too for news. Today, I want to talk about something very, very important that every married couple should actually be talking about. Now, should couples write both names when they are buying property? Or should it just be only the husband's name? Now, we know what is happening in Nigerian marriages now, not just Nigerian marriages, all marriages now. The question is, when you want to make those life choices, I know we all want to marry and marriage to us is kind of like those things that we hope that we will you know, get to. For some women or for some people, marriage happens to be an achievement. But with the news that we are hearing, with the things that is happening around us and around the world in African marriages, in Nigerian marriages, is it about time that we start making some different choices from our father and our mother? Should we insist as a wife, you are educated, you are working, you are contributing to the house, you are paying your bills. And if you and your husband, you're about to make those life choices of buying properties, of buying lands, of buying car, should you insist that your name should be part of this agreement? I'm gonna be bringing to you a video that's gone viral. And that video is gonna be from the basis for our discussion today. So stay with me while we talk about this particular issue. All right, guys. So there's a viral news that's been going round and it has been on most Nigerian vlog. And I'm gonna first of all, like I normally do, play the video for you. Okay, let me give you the background of this video because I think some of you might be wondering, oh, what is this video all about? Now, this is a video of a man whose wife lived and um, was living in America and something happened between both of them. The man decided to come back to Nigeria and this woman has, she's been sending things home, you know, money for, um, she's been sending things home, money for, money for the house that they have bought in Nigeria. She has been, Actually, they've been building a house or built a house. So it's kind of like this man thought that the um, this woman thought that everything that she's been sending sending home that she was building a house, their house in Nigeria. But apparently, that wasn't what was happening. The man had another woman living in her house. So let's watch this. Okay. You are carrying a bastard. You are a python bastard. Go your home. Go and 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 your home. I've thrown your things out of my bedroom. I've thrown your, they're fucking you. They're fucking you on the bed. On the bed. Yes, because it's my bed. It's my bed. I arrest you. You I your fucking things in my bedroom. I have all the documents. I'm not 
Is it not? 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 Nothing. You are arresting. I'm waiting for you. Hey. All you need to do is I'm waiting for you. Enough is enough. It's enough. It's enough. I'm telling you. No, no, no. They cannot take you. No, no. They cannot take you. For here. For here. Who the hell is talking about that, mother? You feel guilty from justice. Before me, because of me, you did not go to get the new justice. I want to clear up your conviction. You want to be already convicted. You are already convicted. I see it all. You are convicted. I see it all for you. You fast. I don't know your bitch. I don't know your bitch. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Sit down. Sit down. What do you do? 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 You know what you did to me? I'm sorry. What do you do to me? So you even agreed is the wife. So she's your wife. You don't have to fight with him. What can you get me? Everybody gets one, you get what you want, and they move on. Enjoying my stuff out of the house. Enjoying my stuff out of the house. Is illegal in my own house. Hey, and I left the this is the need for She wants to come here now and start another fight over the property. Sir, let me get the intervention All these papers are going to go away. The lawyer, because man. every time she took it to court, she lose. And she's losing the product is losing again. Because she lied to the judge, that's not true. That they are reduced her salary. No, that's not true. You can't pay you can't pay child support. So so you that's, want that's so you want her to be here. Why is that here? Yeah, no register my son. They are gonna have the right to bring any guest into this house. Oh no, follow your personal guest. Okay, guys. Um. Oh my God, there's so much in this video that if I if my my head was like when I the first time I watched this video, I could not even. I I could I couldn't help myself but be shouting. Okay, so this woman lives in America, and she's working in America. She's doing well. She used her money to buy property in America and a property in Nigeria in her name. She bought the prop like she had she has a CFO of this land in her name. Okay. So huh, oh my God. 
So apparently they had an issue and then back in America, um, because if you are earning a lot of money, you will be the one to be paying the child. I mean, if, I mean, if you guys divorce and you're earning more than your husband, your husband is not earning much. I mean, definitely they will take part of your money or do you know, I don't know how the court case was when they, when, when they had an issue in America. But what the guy is saying that she reduced her salary, that's not even important because it's none of his business about her salary. That means this guy is actually a giggly or he's a man who actually depends on this woman. But let's even talk about what happened. So this man now came back to Nigeria and now still living with a side chick in their matrimonial home, like in my own house. <laughs> yeah. In, they were sleeping in her matrimonial bed. So the woman came back from, from, from America to see the side chick in her house. Like the side chick has packed in and is now occupying her house. Now, why she was she's why she's been in America, she's been sending money for things to be done for her. So my question now is if you are a wife, if your wife, yeah, and you come home from America or wherever you live and you see a stranger, a side chick in your home, huh, would you not throw your things out? Will you not throw her things out? The, you know, the audacity of this child, you know, side chick, I, you know, I, I've never seen someone with this audacity. Like she's even saying she's not leaving. She's staying back. You don't have a right to send me out. In, in my own house that has my C of O, my property that I, you know, the woman was talking about the fact that she helped build that house, that she was the one that was paying. I mean, and in my own house, yeah. You see, Nigeria, when we talk about Nigeria being a messed up country, this is what we're talking about. In the first place, is the woman's house and her husband's. Not only that, this woman was so smart that she had her name as part of the co-owner of this property she's educated from what i heard she's a lawyer so she had her name as co-owner imagine let's let's imagine that this woman her name was not there you know <coughs> i will give you an example I, I, some women eh you want to buy a land with your husband you give him the money you go and put his own, own name there you want to build a house you'll be giving him the money he will be building the house in his own name if this, if that, if that had been the situation with this woman, if her name has not been anywhere in this property or in this land, do you think she will have anything to say? And young police could have hooked my center out of their, uh, uh, um, their premises. But this is what we are still doing as women in this 20th, is it 21st or 22nd century? You are working, you are making money. And then you are not actually thinking about tomorrow. With the way marriages are going now, madam, think about your life. I know some women will say, oh, no, 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 I don't mind. Um, is my husband, is my husband, um, he can have the name. <laughs> but when the chips are down, when the village people start, that is when you understand that it's about time we start having sense. Common sense is no more as common as we think. Marriages are not the same way as it was in the olden days. See this woman now? A strange woman in her home, fighting her in her own matrimonial home, saying she doesn't have any rights to throw her out. <laughs> Thank God for documents. Thank God for CFO. You know, one thing about social media is, and one thing I like about social media is that, People watch all these things and they learn one or two things from it. And one thing I like when I when I when I see a video, when I watch a video, I want to look at how are Nigerians reacting to it. What are people's thoughts? And I'm going to be looking at what are people saying about the story. And I was very very happy when I saw um, Victoria's um, in your mass comment. And she said, a convicted judge calling an American trainee lawyer an illiterate? As you know, catch the woman to leave her property for you. Take the man and leave her house now. I mean, to be frank with you, yeah, you want the man. You want the man. 
you is the man that you want. You you is really you really want the man. You guys should leave the woman's property. If it's the womb, if it's the man that is just the man that you want, why are you guys insisting on taking her property? You want to marry now the man where you want. Move away from her house. Why are you guys coming to the D DP? What would the DP the Nigerian police that think like a, like like our forefathers? When every, even before they even before anything, they will say the man is right. And a side chick is insulting a woman that 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 the proxy of all the properties in her name, and you're saying you are not leaving. Hey, things that happen for Nigeria, things that happen for Nigeria. I, I know, you know, people were attacking um Victoria, but I, you know, when Victoria talks sometimes, I know she has a background of social care. I love going to see what she has to say about the matter because she says it the way it is. It is the way it is. And <laughs> oh my god, you know, Nigerian story eh. Side chicks are actually growing wings. Do you understand? You are asking her who she is and is her money that are using in financing your lifestyle. Mistress and side chick are growing. To be found, the kind of story that we see in Nigerian <laughs> social media. Like there was one that just that is going viral. If I have time, I can do another video maybe tomorrow. These are side chicks that are fighting. They are telling their they are telling you what can you do? What can you do? These are the kind of people that we is no more hidden side chicks. These ones are coming after your husbands and they're telling you what can you do. And at this time, this is happening. You are still buying properties and landed properties and making investments without your name as part owner. Madam, get sense. Get sense. What is when in Nigeria is called Kayamata. Do you? That is that is most young girls. Then when in social media, it is like a known fact. Using juju to trap people, your husbands, and then you are investing, you are buying the property. Your name is not part owner. Then when you are close to like 40, 50 years, another person will now bring another white person and tell you, you have to you have to be very smart. You re we really have to be very, 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 you know, smart. You see, the worst part is that these women, they refuse to suffer. They will not suffer with poor men. We will go. When we when you did not have anything, we will marry you. We will help build you, build you, help, you know, mold your life. Then when we are at a stage where we should be enjoying, somebody will come and say that they are psychic. Ha. Father Lord, you know what? Eh, eh, I, I don't want to say what is in my mind, but to be frank with you, there are things that after you have done, they can take you to jail. I'm serious. You, you, can, you can't suffer. And then after you have suffered, somebody will now come and say they are psychic or they will say they want to marry a second wife. Hmm. No, Wahala. I, I mean, this story really, yeah. <laughs> it is really it's really important that women should learn to buy things on their names to avoid things like this. It's really heartbreaking to what another man takes what you I mean, it is heartbreaking for you to work so hard, for you to help build a man to mold a man, for you to help build a home, for you to have contributed to a man's life, help build those property, even have your part of your money in these properties and then someone else tells you that you cannot have your own property the fruit of your own level because you are a woman because you are an african because you because you live in nigeria and women should not have property should be in their in their husband's name who could not be a slave be a slave but thank god nigerians are learning i mean the comments that i saw there were very good comments and uh, people now understand the fact that, you know, all these things, we're going to have side chick. We know that side chicks will always be there. I mean, it started from the, from a long time ago. It didn't start from our time, but we, but we should actually be having sense and doing the right thing. Buy those things in your name. If you cannot buy it in your name, 
put your husband and your name to it. Both of you should own the property. You know, sometimes the husband is not there. Property will not be your own again. <laughs> they will start taking the property from you. But when your name is part of the property, they cannot. Now, even, there's, even if you take them, they, they, even if they take you to court, they cannot. You know, when you are a, a housewife and you're not working, you're not making money, they can't do this. They can't, your husband can buy property in his name. He doesn't care. But a man that understands the fact that there is tomorrow, I might die tomorrow, anything might happen, what will happen to my wife? Any man that is wise, any man that is, you know, he loves his family, understands that for me to safeguard my home, for me to safeguard my family, I need to make sure that anything I'm buying, my wife's name is there. So that in case they don't see me, in case I'm not there, she is the legal owner of this property. But it is, it is logical to think that way. But, but in this particular case, the woman actually guided her property. She actually did what any, any sane person that understands what is happening in this world now will do. And then a side chick is fighting her because she's Nigeria, because she's Africa, because women don't have any rights when her name is in a property. So even when you have done what you're supposed to do, they will still fight you. So what of when you did not do what you're supposed to do? You won't even get shishi. Side chick. Side chick. My dear, <laughs> uh, this matter, when I saw it, yeah, <laughs> Mumu, your kids are, your, and Mumu, you and your kids have done well, Jerry. Remain to carry army mount for gate as guard while, while you wait for the divorce papers. <laughs> Tell him to divorce us for, so that side chief will understand is another woman's money he's using to finance her lifestyle. Yeah, this woman is working her ass out in America. She's sending the money back home, thinking that the man has been using the money to furnish the house, get their house ready, make life easier for her, only for her to get home. A side chick is living in her house. See, that's what I can see this. Um, um, Nigerian marriage and an American marriage. The man lives in Nigeria. I live in America or I live in the UK. It, it can't work. It, it cannot work. As you are going, that is, I rather say that is the end of the marriage. It's not going to work. If you go to Nigeria, look, so, so give me to something. L listen, let, let me tell you, if you are a wife out there and your husband is living in Nigeria and you are in America or UK, let me tell you, that man is not on his own. If you think he's on his own, you are actually lying to yourself. Let's call you. Tell, it's about time you tell yourself the truth. The African society, the Nigerian society is not programmed that way. Even his own family will even give him wife. For. They will give him chicks. His friends will entice him. The girls will go after him. They, see, any man that is in Nigeria on his own, and the wife or the children are abroad, they are easy prey. I'm telling you. Don't talk about when you are now working and working and sending the money back to Nigeria and the man is using the money to finance the life of a, of a side chick. This man, she's quiet too. <laughs> she, she's just quiet. She just threw her things out and she's complaining. Some people will just... <laughs> Let me not say the word because I don't want my, my, my video to be spoiled. I'm telling you. Anyway, I just saw this video and I just had to do it just for me to tell you guys that we need to be very careful. The kind of decisions that we make in marriage. I know people say marriage, marriage, let's marry, let's marry, let's marry. When you are married, <laughs> always use your brain too. Don't just marry and forget your brain. While you are planning good, some men, and not planning good for you. Some people will even want to kill you and marry a second wife. Some people are thinking about how to destroy you. Or So don't always think that, oh, it is rosy, rosy. Always at each time, use your second, you know, use your second head. Always understand that it could go wrong. It might not be from the man's point of view. It might not, it might be the man loves you so much. But if you guys have not made the right choices 
made things, you know, put things in place properly, if he dies, he might not get anything out of it. That's all I'm saying. So let's start being a little bit wise and start thinking about what can we do to safeguard our future. We cannot hustle and hustle and hustle in Obudo. You go do four walks, do five walks, do ten walks. Why somebody is in Nigeria and we're sending the money? The man is busy eating our money. Now, Majo her go, go kill that person. This story is so annoying. And she's not the only person this never thing happens to. Lots of women who are in the Western world suffering and, you know, sending money home to husbands that are there, busy. They're firing their home and not respecting their marriages. It is very bad. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what you guys think about this video. I, I, I just I just had to do a video about it because it is it is what it is, okay? And I'm going to end with this. You see, marriage is not a scam. I, I mean, I, I saw people writing marriage is a scam, marriage is not good. No, marriage is not a scam. Marriage is beautiful. Marriage is um is an honorable thing to be in. But even while you are in marriage, don't forget your brains. Don't let go of your guards because there are people who are actually not happy for you. You always have people that would, even if you are the best woman, in fact, you are the best of best of wife, somebody will talk bad about you. You don't know what the tomorrow will be. So always, always, always be prepared for the worst and make sure that every Holes and every nook, you know, nook and cranny that you have, you know, make lock them up because of something like this. Use your brain. Thank you guys for watching. What do you think about this video? Please drop your comments. Please, please, please help me subscribe to my channel. Life issues on YouTube, life issues on Facebook, life issues on Instagram, and life issues on Twitter. God bless you until I come your way tomorrow. Bye-bye.